data 800 mm square and two brass rods each of cross sectional area 500 mm square together support load of 25 kN as shown in figure calculate the stresses in the rods to stop talk take e for steel as 200 gpa and e for brass as uh, 100 gpa okay so first of all write down the given data for that so cross sectional area of steel it is given that will be noted it will be as is equal to as is equal to 800 mm square so you can write down here as is equal to 800 mm square 800 mm square then two brass rod of cross sectional area it is 500 mm together okay so ab area of brass will consider it will be ab so there are two rods each rod cross sectional area it will be 500 mm square 500 mm square so total it will become 1000 mm square 1000 mm square the next one will be this given uh, total load will be p is equal to 25 kN 25 kN so convert it is in newton 25 into 10 to the power 3 newton 10 to the power 3 newton the so next modulus of elasticity for steel it is given es is equal to 200 gpa 200 gpa okay so convert it is in newton per mm square so it will be 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square then modulus of elasticity for brass will be eb is equal to B is equal to to be take is given 100 GPA. So this one it is also converted in Newton per mm square. Okay, so 100 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm square. 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm square. Okay, so this data it is given for calculate the stresses in the steel and brass. Brass. Okay. first decrease in decrease in length of steel rod of steel rod due to external load okay so delta ls is equal to right now delta ls is equal to delta ls is equal to sigma s into sigma s into ls ls into ls divided by es divided by es divided by es es okay. put all this value here So sigma s will be unknown. So ls it is given length of steel rod. Okay. So this one it is also data given. Just write on ls is equal to here length of steel rod it is 250 mm. 250 mm. And lb it will length of brass it will be lb is equal to lb is equal to lb is equal to 200 mm. Lb it will be 200 mm. So into so ls it will be 250 mm. 250 mm divided by Divided by divided by ES it will be modulus of elasticity of steel it will be 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square. So delta ls it will be get in terms of sigma s. So delta ls is equal to in terms of sigma s it will be get. Okay. So I doubt this one it will be. 250 divided by 400 into 10 to the power 3. So it will be 1.25, 1.25 to 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 3 into sigma s in terms of sigma s. You will get this value in terms of sigma s. Okay, sigma s. Sigma. So this one it is decrease in length due to external load okay so now decrease in length decrease in length decrease in length in brass 
in brass in brass rod in brass rod you put the external rod okay put the external rod then i will write down here but next delta lb is equal to change in length in brass is equal to delta lb is equal to sigma b into sigma b sigma b into sigma b into into lb lb divided by e divided by e So put all this value here. Sigma b is unknown. Sigma b. So length of brass will be how much? It will be 200 mm. Into 200 mm divided by e b it will be e b it will be how much? E b is equal to 100 into 10 to the power 3. 100 into 10 to the power 3. Hundred into ten to the power three. Okay. So write down delta L B is equal to delta L B delta L B change in length in brass rod. Okay. So two hundred divided by hundred into ten to the power three. So it will be two into two into ten to the power minus three. Minus c into sigma, which is sigma b, sigma b. Okay. okay. The next slide on decrease in length. Decrease in length of steel rod. Steel rod. Steel rod. Steel rod. Equal to equal to decrease in length in brass rod. Decrease in length. Decrease in length in brass rod. So it will be same. Brass rod are equal. Are equal. Are equal. Because of load, it will be applied. Disconnected to three bars. Three bars. Uh, two steel rod and one brass rod. That's why it will be decrease in length. It will be same in brass as well as in steel. So that's why equate this equation. Delta L S is equal to delta L B. Delta L S is equal to delta L B. So delta is equal to delta L B. Delta L B. Delta L S is equal to delta L B. So delta L S value it will be. This one it will be 1.25, 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 3, minus 3 into sigma s, into sigma s, sigma s is equal to, is equal to sigma b delta L b will be 2 into 10 to the power minus c into sigma b sigma b sigma b so in terms of sigma s and sigma b we can get this value okay so that i don't know sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to 2 divided by 1.25 It will be 1.6, 1.6 sigma b, 1.6 into sigma b, sigma b, sigma b. Sigma b. Sigma b. Okay, so write down this one. It is equation number one. Okay, so total load carried by, total load carried by, T is equal to steel, steel rod plus brass rod. Steel rod plus brass rod. Okay. So total load it is 25 kilonewton. 25 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 3. 25 into 10 raised to the power 3 is equal to 
So PS is PS means it will be sigma s into a. PS means it is sigma s. So it's in steel rod, and a s it is a s it is cross sectional area of steel rod. Then plus, then plus, then plus sigma b. So it's in brass rod sigma b, sigma b, and cross sectional area of brass a b. This A B. Put all this value here. Twenty five into ten to the power C is equal to sigma s it will be unknown value. Sigma s. The cross sectional area of steel rod it will be how much? It will be eight hundred mm square into into eight hundred mm square. Then plus then plus. Sigma b it will be unknown. Sigma b. Sigma b. So cross sectional area of brass it will be cross sectional area of brass it will be how much? Give it. There are two brass, so give it one thousand mm. One thousand mm. One thousand mm. Okay. Now, so just simplify this equation. So we know that my equal to one six to the power c is equal to sigma s. It will be sigma s is equal to one point six sigma b. One point six, one point six into sigma b. Sigma b. Sigma b. Into eight hundred, into eight hundred, into eight hundred, eight hundred plus plus thousand into sigma b, thousand into sigma b, thousand into sigma b, thousand into sigma b. So from this relation, it will be get sigma b. So it's in brass. Give again. Okay. Calculate this one. One point six into eight hundred plus thousand. Plus thousand, so it will be twenty-five into ten raised to the power ten raised to the power c. Your answer, so it will be twenty-five into ten raised to the power c divided by one point six into eight hundred plus one thousand. So it will be get ten point nine six. So sigma b is equal to ten point nine six. Newton per mm square. Sigma b is equal to 10.96. So it will be 10.96 Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. That is our MP or MP or MP. Okay. So sigma s is equal to sigma s. Sigma s is equal to it will be 1.6 sigma b. Sigma s is equal to 1.6 sigma b. 1.6 sigma b. Okay. 1.6 into sigma b. Sigma b. Sigma b. Sigma b. So it is equal to. It is equal to. 1.6 into sigma b will be 10.96. 10.96. So sigma s is equal to. So it's in kilo is equal to sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to one point six into ten point nine six. So it will be seventeen point seventeen point five three seventeen point five three newton per mm square newton per mm square or mp or mp. So this one it is. Tracing brass or tracing steel for given load. Okay, so we are apply twenty five kilo newton on these two brass rod and one steel rod. So these are stresses developed due to external load. So in brass it will be ten point nine six newton per mm square, and in steel it will be seventeen point five three newton per mm square. 